Hello everyone. Today we are going to install this EGW ignition kit on a uh, Prada GDS. Um, I went ahead and take uh, everything off already. I'm sure there will be plenty of videos that you can look for that show you how to get to this point. Um, again, uh, the instruction says that um, this kit is not 100% drop in and should be installed or checked over by a competent gunsmith prior to shooting. <laughs> With that said, again, um, I've done a lot of the work already just to go back and recap. Um, the disconnector, uh, this, uh, the nub that uh, sticks above the, the frame here, I'm just going to show from this side of it, but uh, there's a lot of uh, burrs or what, and it was not smooth um, into that uh, port there. So I had to polish this area out. They, uh, make sure that it's uh, moved freely with uh, plenty of uh, um, interference fit over there as far as being able to slide uh, in and out and not have anything bind up. Um, the sear itself, uh, while it's, uh, it would fit in here and uh, fine, uh, initial install, um, I got the uh, pull, trigger pull to be around four pound. The factory is a little over five pound. Um, but it was um, fitting inside the frame, uh, kind of uh, gritty. So I did polish this both uh, side of it. Uh, nothing was done on the uh, the uh, surface that was uh, connecting to the the um, uh, disconnector or the uh, hammer or anything like that. So only the side to allow for it to freely fit inside the frame. Um, the other thing is that the kit does not come with a hammer strut, so you're going to have to reuse your hammer strut and pin from your factory setup. Um, the spring uh, was adjusted, tuned uh, to this particular gun, and f at the end, I was able to get uh, a little under three pound uh, trigger pull. So uh, the um, Spring here. Um, I did it off camera. Um, you know, basically the main spring, um, push that in a vise and push that down and, and push the pin out, put the new spring in there. Uh, relatively easy. There's plenty of ease to do that. But as of right now, we're going to go ahead and go back together with it. Uh, hopefully, I can catch some of this on, on, um, on the video here. Um, so, uh, this should be how the um, sear and disconnector should uh, sit and it goes in here and we're going to try to guide it in and I like to use a the pin uh, to uh, you know, index the location see if I can get it to And then just use the pin to push it back. <coughs> and that should stay in there. Okay. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and <coughs> put our hammer in. and put our spring in. have my main spring housing in just to keep it kind of together okay 
and then we're going to have our grip safety in. Point. We're going to go ahead okay. We're going to push up on our mainspring housing making sure that the strut is on it safety in and we're going to push Cock, full cock. 